This video serves to highlight some of the additional software features available to LumiCam and how to use them in the InFocus software. We'll also show how to overlay images in the InFocus software. Looking at the left panel just below white balance, we have black balance. This feature calibrates the camera for when no light is present. Black balance does not need to be performed every time the camera is used, which should be done if any of the following occur. The camera is used for the first time. The camera is used after a long period of disuse. There is significant change in the ambient temperature where the camera is located. To perform black balance, make sure all the microscope's lights are off. You should see only a black image of the software. Then, click the black balance button. Moving on, we have the option to change the bit depth of the camera between 8 and 12 bit. The bit depth is the number of bits used to represent each pixel in the image. For 8 bit, this range would be from 0 to 255, and for 12 bit, from 0 to 4096. This affects the number of steps between black at 0 and white at 255, or 4096, changing the smoothness of the gradient. The LumiCan also offers digital binning. Additive can be used to increase the brightness of dim samples, and averaging can be used to increase the signal to noise ratio. Digital binning will, however, lower the resolution of the image. Next, we have conversion gain. There are two options available here high conversion gain, or HCG, and low conversion gain, or LCG. High conversion gain should be used in low light situations, such as fluorescence as it provides the lowest noise levels in a brighter image. Low conversion gain is useful if you like to use the camera for bright field imaging, as it provides the full well capacity of the camera to prevent oversaturation. The final feature we'll look at here on the left panel is Preset. Preset can be used to save various camera settings for easy recall later by pressing the Save button. These settings can also be imported or exported to the software. I will showcase the use of, of saved presets in the next section. Now that we've covered those features, we will move on to doing an image overlay. First, I will capture three images using three different fluorescent filters. Here we can use, make use of our pre, of preset. I'll go ahead and click my DAPI preset and click load. I can then go ahead and capture that image. Next, we'll move on to our M Cherry filter. And similarly, M Cherry, load, and capture. And then finally, we'll move on to DAPI and load that and capture. Now that I have these, I can go to the Process tab and select Color Composite. We will then select our first channel by clicking Add and then choose a pseudo color. I would recommend using the default options as these are traditional ones used for pseudo color, and the ones in the drop down list are based on the actual color of the dye. So in this case, for GFP, I would choose green, click OK. Then I would add our next one, choosing red for the cherry. And then finally, for the third one, we choose blue for our dabby. Once all the images you wish to overlay have been added, you can then close the color composite box, and you will have your new overlaid image, available as its own separate image. You can also add bright field or DIC images as a channel using the bright field setting to show depth or contrast in the sample, or features not present under fluorescence. Make sure to check out our other videos on our Microscope Central YouTube channel.